Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how I made my custom hype jar for my Twitch streams using stream elements. So first up I just gotta create a new overlay and keep the 10 ADP, add a new widget, and in alerts we're going to add a hype cut. So it's just gonna pop up the default one here. But since I want to change it to a custom image, I first off want to choose an image that is similar to the shape of the one we're going to be using. You're free to use whatever images you want, but I will be using the ones I drew up myself, which you can find on my coffee shop as well. So I'm going to add a new image, and here you can upload the image that you'll be using, but since I already have it here, I'm just going to scroll down and add it. This one. We're also going to be adding a background image as well. Now, first off, we're going to have to change the wireframe here, and since it's a bit complicated to figure it out by yourself, we're going to be using another website called Pipe, where we can make our own wireframes. So I'm just going to be uploading the one I'll be using, and it's going to pop up the image here. So in order to create the wireframe, we're just going to go around the image at each point, and just click around outside of the jar. This have to be exact because this is all this will all be invisible anyways. And go around. And we're also going to go in the inside to create that 3D edge or inside of the image. And just gonna quickly go through. Again, doesn't have to be exact. We're just gonna close it. So that will be our wireframe. So we're just going to copy all of those numbers here and add it here and then click submit. So the image is gonna be quite bigger than the actual size of the cup, so we're just going to scale it down to around 40% and we're going to leave the opacity on max. And it's before we reposition the cup, I'm just going to change the size and position of the full image. I like to keep the height to be quite a bit bigger than the regular 1080p because I don't want to see the images scrolling into the cup at the top here, which you will see if you don't change it. So I'm just gonna scroll it up there, and then we're gonna see the bottom of the image there. That is what I want. I'm also gonna change the width so it's not quite as big. I'm just gonna change it to 1000 maybe. And then we'll go back to the settings, and also change the cup again, and reposition the cup. Now you might see it that it might start, it might start cutting out the image here. So we're just going to close this again and click use entire screen for cup and we're also going to turn it off again. For some reason, I don't know why, Dream Elements just like does something where it cuts off the image there but you can just change like that and then you'll be able to move it wherever you want within that boundary box again. And then I'm going to leave it down here to the left side of my screen. You are free to leave it on the right hand side, I'm just going to leave it on the left hand side. And then we're going to go back, and that should be good if you just want the regular cup, and you can just test it out here. And all the images will just fall through, and these are all the default ones that it comes with stream elements. But I want to change all the icons as well, so I'm going to go back into settings. And we're going to change the follower one first, which should be pretty simple. We're just going to change the image. And I want to change it into this little candy piece here. And I also want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put it to 1.8 and also change the body balance to 1.8 to 18 as well. So we can test that out. And there, we got the first candy. And that should be good for followers. And we're going to do the same thing for subscribers and all the other ones as well, but it's going to be a little bit different. 
So for the subscribers, I kind of don't want to have it for all of these, so I'm just going to delete the ones I won't be using. I'm just gonna speed through this. Okay, so now we have all of these. And now we're going to start changing the images. So I want it to be a different color for all of these. And we're going to change it here. And again, we're going to change the token size to whatever you want. I like to have the default ones to be a bit smaller and then gradually go up in size. But the difference here is that we're going to have to change the advanced settings. So where it says the provided image is a sprite sheet. It is not a sprite sheet for me because mine's not animated. So I'm just going to change all of these to 150. If you keep it without, you keep, if you just turn this off, it's just going to crop the image anyways for some reason. So we're just going to change all the settings and then click off and it should fix it. And we're going to do the rest the same way with different images. Alright, so now that all those are done, we're just going to test these out as well. And we're just going to give ourselves one gift sub, and then a subscriber event, and then also community gift just to test it out and see how it looks. There. So now everything should be looking good for those. And we're going to do the same thing for the tips, hosts, and raids. You can change the images. The only thing that's going to be a little bit different is the cheers. So I'm just going to speed through while I do the rest of these and then we'll go back to the cheers. So now that we have done all the other alerts, we're just going to go back to the cheers. I just want to give you guys a heads up that the cheers custom emotes are kind of glitchy at times. So that's why I left it for the last one, just because I know that there can be a lot of problems that come up when you do it. So we're just going to do the same thing where we replace all the images again. And I'm just going to speed through this again. Okay, so now we're gonna now that all of these are done, we're just gonna test them all again. There might be a problem where sometimes the image might glitch out, and that has happened to me a couple of times. And honestly, I feel like it's probably just a stream elements thing. So don't worry too much about it if it does glitch out for you. But it should work in the test. The only thing is, if you do cheer event and just click cheer event, it might just show all the other icons dropping down of the Twitch default instead. But that's up. That's just, I don't know if that's just going to appear in the actual live stream or not, just because I haven't tested it out on stream yet. But I just want to give you a heads up that the cheer alerts do glitch out, so sometimes if you don't want to see it glitch out, I would just turn it off. But you can also just leave it on default as well, if that is okay with you. But everything else should be fine. That's the only one that seems to glitch out uh, occasionally for me. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. And I, if you're interested in buying any of my stream assets for this overlay, for this custom hype jar, then you can find it on my coffee shop again. Anyways, see y'all later!